The NVS25 works as a streaming server and also records your video productions. The setup is straightforward. Let's take a look. Connect your video input source to the NVS25. You will connect the SDI output from the SE700 to the SDI input of the NVS25. Connect an Ethernet cable from your network to the LAN port located on the back side of the NVS25. Turn on the NVS25 with the power switch located in the front left side of the device. The NVS25 will now connect to your Ethernet or web network. You will need to install the supplied IP Finder software on a computer or laptop connected to your network. Using the IP Finder software, you can locate the IP number assigned to the NVS25. This number shows how the NVS25 connects to your network and is the unique address to locate and identify the NVS25. You will also notice that the STM or stream LED light will glow a solid green if you have correctly configured the IP connection. Once you have obtained the unique IP address assigned to the NVS25 by your network, you can simply copy this number into a browser on your computer. If you have performed the prior steps correctly, you should see the operating menu for the NVS25. The default username is admin and the default password is six zeros. You're able to change the password to anything you wish. The next step in setting up your NVS25 is to obtain your external USB hard drive or USB stick. Connect your drive via the USB connector located on the front of the NVS25. You need to format the drive in FAT32 format. Once the drive is properly formatted, your NVS25 is ready to record video. To start recording on the NVS25, you can hit the record button on your software menu or press the record button on the front panel for about 3 to 5 seconds on the front of the NVS25 unit. The mode button is used to select your video input source. Pressing the mode button will allow you to cycle through HDMI, SDI, and composite video source signals. Next, we will learn how to configure a live stream on the NVS25. First, you need to set up an account with a CDN, also known as a content delivery network. There are many CDNs available to use, but we will use YouTube as an example since it is free and easy to use. After you've created your YouTube account, you will need to go into the YouTube settings menu and enable your live streaming. Under the encoding setup, you will need to copy both the server URL and stream name. This information is located on the bottom of the page. Next, log into your NVS25 web browser control panel using the IP Finder software. Go to the live stream setup menu and select RTMP Publishing. Next, you will need to enter the URL and the stream name that you copied from YouTube into the corresponding RTMP URL and the stream name. Note, this must be entered exactly as you see it on YouTube. Press Apply. Your stream will now start. Remember, it takes a few minutes for the signal to buffer and start to stream. Now that you have configured the NVS25 for live streaming, your settings are saved and you can simply press the stream button to start and stop streaming. To modify the record settings on your NVS25, go to settings and then click on encoder setup. There you can modify all the details of the file. The most important setting is video bitrate. This affects the quality of your file. The lower the bitrate, the lower quality. The higher bitrate, the higher quality. It is recommended to use a bitrate of 5,000 kilobits per second. This quality will make your file ideal for uploading to YouTube. You are now ready to stream and record on your NVS25. Enjoy.